Hi everyone, so in this video we'll take a quick look at um, map-based distribution and with it you can create some really interesting and varied distributions uh, you, based on uh, textures or, or shaders in this case and what we're going to do is we're going to just distribute some uh, textures, <laughs> we're going to distribute some mushrooms over a plane here and then we're going to use the same uh, shader to deform the plane as well actually. So the um, because we're using the world node our clusters are um, we're using the collisions here so the distribution should be non-overlapping and uh, yeah so we've got three different types of mushrooms and where we don't want any mushrooms to go so the path here and um, there should be none and then as we go from um, the way that map based shade map based placement works is as the map goes from um, black to white it increases the probability of a point uh, being a able to grow there so um, that's yeah that's the that's the Re, um, method behind it so let's set it up so here's our plane and here are our mushrooms so let's grab these and we'll create a mesh network like so we'll just add a world node straight away and we will change the cluster mode to map based we get an error saying please connect to mesh because map based um, distribution requires a mesh so let's drag our ground onto the input mesh uh, slot here and then just increase the number of points. And what we can do is we can just get rid of our original points. So we can go into um, previous point mode, can change that to kill. That will get rid of those. And what we can do is we just put a number in here, say like 500, or we can up this to say 5,000. Um, but that will take a second to calculate because we have all these collision iterations on. What we can actually do, um, you know, uh, we can set the collision iteration to zero. And that's what we'd end up with normally. And then basically what's happening is, if I just reduce this number down slightly, what's happening is, is as we add a collision iterations, we just move these objects away from each other. So there's one, and now two sorts itself out a bit further, then three. They uh, resolve even further, so you end up with something like that. And of course, we can randomize the ID. So we've got a maximum ID of two. The way that I know we have a maximum ID of two is by just checking the instancer. We have three objects on there, zero, one, and two. The ID is down the side here. So our ID maximum is two. So we can just change the ID mode to random. And then we have our random mushrooms. So uh, again, if I just reduce this number down slightly, uh, just for the interaction purposes. And then what we can do is we can add some uh, random radius variance and just to get some different sizes on our mushrooms. So if we look at it from the side, there are all a few different sizes going on there. And yeah, okay, so let's, um, I mean, nothing we've done there is basically map-based. Uh, so uh, I'll show you um, quickly if I just grab a, um, let's grab the material for this plane here. And let's just add a noise shader to begin with. There it is, so let's add a noise shader. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ramp up the amplitude. Um, no, I'm not I'm going to. Actually, yes, I am going to. <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, no. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to change it, the noise type to Perlin noise, ramp up the amplitude. So I've got black areas and white areas like that. And then this texture, I'm going to bring up in the node editor. Uh, I will, well, it's here anyway. But if you, if, if it's not there, just, um, if it's not there, just uh, select the um, ground mesh and go uh Right click graph materials on viewport selection and that'll give you the um that'll give you the uh, material. So let's in the mash network go to the world node again and then you can middle mouse drag the noise uh, shader onto the placement map like so and then when we look at that you see we have objects where the white is but um no none where the black is. And actually, objects could appear where there is black uh, if the collisions put them there. So if you have objects, well, there you go. So there's a yellow object here that's actually in a black area, and that's because the collision has put it there. So if I set the collision iteration to zero, now it's not. It's actually starting on where, where it's non-black there. So that's what happens with that. Um, so yeah, um, OK, so let's get our um, uh, the texture that we used before is a ramp. So I'm going to just break connection on that and then create a ramp. And then um, on the mesh network, I'm going to drag this ramp onto our placement map. 
And as you can see, we've gone from uh, where the black is, we don't have any objects, and then gradually it gets busier and busier over to the where it's white. Um, so let's start playing with the ramp. Um, we'll do something like uh, this and make it um, make a black area in the center. Change the interpolation to smooth. And we will add a little bit of noise like that maybe. And then um, I'm going to add a texture deformer. So select the mesh here and go to deform, texture, and then with this ramp, I'm going to drag that onto the texture here. And I'll increase the strength of that, like so. So here's our terrain there. And I will just um, adjust some of the settings in here slightly, maybe just bring that in like that. And bring that in like that. Cool. So, I mean, that's just a very quick, simple, dirty little trick um, for doing this kind of thing. And hopefully, you find it useful. But that's kind of map based distribution. So, it allows you to populate areas with kind of non overlapping objects. Um, worth watching the cluster tutorial for more information on the non overlapping. Uh, remember, you can play with the uh, collision, the minimum separation here, um, if your object scales aren't quite right, and uh, you've obviously got the quality uh, setting here, which is the collision duration, so we can increase that and resolve a few more collisions, but um, yeah, so that's kind of how it works, and I hope you find that useful.